I kind of want to add this a little bit more to the whole ramping of color and texture and stuff like that. So I got another video here, and this video is going to be touching base on these sky layers that I put in here. If you take a, a, a camera, like a digital SLR, and just point it at the sky, get as many cloud pictures as you can, and I'll show you why here. I'm just going to save a few of these. Now these are very high res, these are like 21 meg 22 megapixels, so they're very high res images. Does it matter if they're high res? Not really. Um, 8 megapixels works just about the same. These are so high res that I have to save them as JPEGs, so I'm going to save them onto my desktop as Sky1. I like the ones with the big puffy clouds. Yeah, I like that. That was cool. There we go. So a couple sky images, and of course you can use as many as you want. Uh, this document I'm just going to save as, and we'll save this as example textures. All right, good. Okay, what I'm going to do is open these sky images up. And also, I'm going to set up a new document. Uh, this new document is going to be a printable document, so U.S. paper, 300 dots per inch. And I'm going to set up a few things that kind of go through layer masking. I'll go through more about layer masking here in the next video, but I'm just going to plop some black down. And my next thing I'm going to do is draw a random shape using the polygon lasso tool. So random, random. Always think about randomness and chaos. Random. Students get way too hung up on, uh, like, it'll take them 30 minutes to come up with some kind of random shape. Uh, you gotta, you gotta let go, kids. That's all I gotta say. You gotta let go a little bit. Quit thinking so much. Hurt your brain. Okay, so I got a random shape, total chaos, and what I want to do is import some of these cloud layers in. So here's a way to do that. Window, no, arrange, float all in windows. So you got this. I'm going to select, deselect it. And I'm going to take the layers here and drag them over here. So for every document, I'm just going to click on it. I have its background, and I'm going to drag it over here. What about this stupid thing? Sure, let's drag this over too. <laughs> Let's that let go. Edit copy merge for that one. Edit paste. That way it drags all all of it in. So I got all these layers and they're all different things and they're all random chaos. So I got my clouds and let's say I take my clouds be on its layer and I get it to about right here. And then I got my other layer of clouds turn that on and let's say this one looks almost the same so I'm going to rotate this a little bit so it has a little bit more chaos to it so something like that so I got two layers of chaos and for this I'm going to make one more layer okay I'm going to make a layer here and I'm going to turn this into um, like a red let's go red Sweet. Now what am I going to do with all this stuff? Well this one, I'm going to turn it into something and I'll go into this a little bit later. Create clipping mask. Alright? And basically what that did is um, because I have this random shape here, a clipping mask works like 
if I have a shape on the next layer down, it just cuts it out. That's all it does. Think of it that way. For this layer, um, I'm going to choose like color dodge or multiply. Ooh, multiply works. How about overlay? Overlay is not working for me because this is a pure saturated red. That was a stupid design flaw on me. That was me not thinking. So let's go to adjustments, hue saturation, and rank it a little darker. And there we go. I have this now shape. And it's got a little bit of clouds in it. Okay, this one, maybe I'm going to choose color dodge for it. And I'm going to get a brighter cloud. And now, being random, I'll say filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to blur this up really bad. Ooh, right? Because now I got these red clouds, and now I got this really just kind of unique look. And as a matter of fact, is if I took this and even duplicated it a couple times, what you're going to find is it gets brighter, and then you can add more and more different kinds of effects in here and clouds are so amazing for texture so amazing you'll never get the same variance twice and you can just really have fun with this and then I got this what am I going to do with this well maybe I'll multiply it into the background Oops. Now I got this demon thing going on. And again, randomness. Very true randomness. But that's how you use clouds and textures with each other to form other things. Now I got this really cool red that appears on here where I didn't have it before. When when you start thinking design or you start thinking concept, don't get hung up on the idea that there is one right answer. There is no right answer. You haven't invented right answer yet. Let's just fill this with a white. Gosh, and blur it. Got this really hot spot in it now. And anything I do with these, we'll just add to that. Where I drag this, <laughs> very cool stuff. And you can use that sun as also a light. You can use it as a color dodge. Use it anything you want. All right, so that is how you use clouds and how to get total random chaos out of just about anything. Enjoy.